I was, was in shock that he could have been on that plane. He got on an earlier flight. He did. He, did. he got on an earlier flight because it was um, Madison and Hallie's first day of kindergarten. I was heading off to work that morning and um, stopped at the coffee shop and saw the plane hit uh, the World Trade Center. And um, then I called Tom a couple times on his phone, obviously didn't reach him, and then got, called Dina out in California. And she said, I had just, I just talked to your brother. He's alive, he's on a plane, and it's been hijacked. Uh, he was a, a premature baby. He was born at St. Mary's Hospital. He uh, had quite a large head, and, and the rest of his body was very, very small. And we were just, we wondered, you know, could this grow into something? He was very charismatic and uh, a very big personality. And he did really like Bill Murray. And yeah. he could imitate <laughs> Bill Murray with amazing exacting quality. He really had a knack for being present and being able to make sense out of you know, any situation. He was very quick. He, he loved history, and he particularly loved military history. At Normandy, at the height, they've got the American Cemetery, and they had a sand table up there and a couple of lieutenants telling you about how they came in that day and what they faced. And he, he said to me, Dad, I, <laughs> I don't know that I'd have had the courage to come in that under fire like that. But very, very people, very few would have that courage. But he proved it later on that he did have all kinds of courage. We knew he'd take charge of something. Yeah. yeah. At least find a pilot on the plane or find the right person and do what they could. And they did. I think we view the, you know, Flight 93 and their actions aboard the plane as the first battle in the war against terrorism. Yeah. And it was the it was a moment that helped inspire our country to realize that we all have the ability to stand up and do something. It was a natural uh, outcome uh, for us to say uh, a leadership program would be wonderful <coughs> and also uh, building citizenship because he was tremendously interested in people being good citizens. So the University of Minnesota is a, it was his home. He loved it there. We feel so honored to be able to have a program in his name a scholarship and the, the leadership program there, and that's an amazing legacy that will live on through people and their actions. It is truly a joy to meet those students. They're so grateful for the opportunity to be in the program, that they know Tom's story. They're gonna take good care of the world. That's what it feels like to me. Our world is in good hands. TBLP is challenging, inspiring, and honest. TBLP is forcing me to search and look and find my authentic self. TBLP has made me a better version of myself than the person that started this program. TBLP has helped me transition to a world where I'm not always going to be a top leader of my organization. TBLP is one of the greatest gifts I could have asked for in my senior year. It has helped me grow closer to all my peers and grow as a leader and a person.